Good morning. Today is Sunday, 7.03 a.m. And this is actually going to be a hair vlog because I need to go get my ends trimmed really bad. It's been at least over eight weeks. And I told myself that I wasn't going to wait more than six to eight weeks because I am experiencing some damage um, with my ends. As, as quickly as it grows, it breaks off. And so I really need to get this taken care of. I have been, I've recently kind of discovered it around Valentine's Day because I like flat ironed my hair and I wanted to go get it uh, trimmed. And that was when I noticed that I really had a lot of breakage. I, I saw that I had like split ends and that they were splitting like all the time I would see the short hairs and not the hair that, uh, that comes directly from your scalp because it'll have like that little white bulb on the end. Those shedding hairs, but I really did have the the breakage uh, because I would see the short hairs all the time, and I kind of ignored it. I really did, and then I just realized, okay, my hair is not growing at the rate that it should be. I have a goal to have my hair grow out to bra strap length by the end of the year, and I don't foresee that happening if I don't take care of the breakage as soon as possible. So I have, um, well I don't have an appointment, but I am going to uh, the hair salon today and I'm going to have them trim it. I probably should get a cut, but I'm not ready to get the full, full cut. Just because my hair has been short for a long time and I'm just not growing it out and I'm just not ready to see like all of the length gone yet. And that sounds really horrible. But I am going to be transitioning from trimming it so it'll get shorter and shorter to get all of the dead ends off. And so we can just start brand new and I can have um, healthy hair because that's what we all want, right? So this is a blowout and I used a blow dryer with a comb. Um, I did use some heat protected spray. This is Ion Straightening Solutions. I got this from Sally's. And I just rubbed this in my hands and I put it on the ends as it was damp wet. Um, I washed my hair last night and I put a plastic cap over my hair so I could keep it soaking the moisture. I sectioned my hair off because um, I don't always feel like flat ironing it after I wash it. So this morning I woke up extra early so I could actually uh, flat iron it, blow dry it and flat iron it. So now I'm going to get into the flat ironing stages. This isn't like a tutorial or anything, it's just a hair vlog. I wanted to keep you guys updated with what I'm doing. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the hair salon and I think I might take my uh, camera phone in there depending on how it is because it's, my iPhone's really been messing up with the picture quality so I don't know how the video filming quality would be uh, and I don't feel comfortable taking in my um, Nikon filming camera. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So uh, depending on what my phone situation is, I might film my trimming um, in there and if they allow me to film in there. But I am actually going to get it trimmed and then I'll come back and then I'll show you guys the results. Uh, so right now I'm going to flat iron this. Um, I'm not going to film that because it takes too long. And if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, then let me know. Um, I will come back to you after it's flat ironed. And then um, after my trimming, I will update you guys on what I think, uh, how long it'll take to get all the ends off. And um, so yeah, so if you guys want to see um, this hair vlog and the results of my trimming, then please stay tuned. looks like flat iron. I am not really satisfied with this. I think it looks very dull and my hair looks slick. Um, yeah, I'm not ecstatic about this. So I'm going to the hair salon and we are going to trim this as much as I can because this is getting frustrating. My hair should be way longer than this and it's not. My hair was this length last summer and I'm just like, this is ridiculous. It's not growing. I'm frustrated because I'm not really sure what the break, the cause of the breakage is. At first, I thought it was too much. Pressure. 
protein and I, I don't, I stripped my hair and then I just kind of stopped using, I stopped co-washing as much as I was. I am not wearing ponytails hardly anymore. I'm just doing a lot of pin, um, tuck and pins or pin and tucks and twist outs and um, I'm just, I feel like I'm being more gentle with my hair in terms of the way that I wash it, the way that I comb it. I don't comb it every day like I used to. And I just feel like my hair is still breaking. I'm doing protein treatments. My hair is still breaking. And it's just not, it's staying the same length because at the rate that it's growing, it's just breaking off. So it's just very annoying. It's annoying. It's frustrating. It's, it's just annoying to see you not progressing in your hair journey like I have a goal by the end of the year to be off um, to be at bra strap length and I am at the same length that I was last summer so I have to cut a lot of it off um, I'm not comfortable cutting a lot of it off but I'm gonna have to cut I don't know if I'm even gonna cut a lot I'm gonna have her trim it the point where I still have some length but we're just gonna have to keep going every six to eight weeks until we get it all off because this is just kind of getting absurd to me so uh, I just wanted to check back in with you guys to show you this is what it looks like what it looks like flat ironed and um, I'll just check back in with you guys after I have gone to go get it trimmed all right I'll see you guys bye Hi guys, I am in my car right now. It's raining outside. Um, I know that I was supposed to film this after church, but I actually didn't even end up going to church today because I was just having a horrible hair day. Like, I'm normally not like really superficial or anything like that, but like I just think the frustrations of realizing how damaged my hair was and then it's raining outside and I was just like, I, I was just having a horrible, horrible hair day. So I actually didn't even go to church. Um, I am about to go get my hair cut right now. I'm going to Great Clips uh, because I do find them to be the most affordable. My hair is kind of like pinned up so their hair, so my hair won't be too uh, like soaking wet. I have like a hoodie. I'm wearing my cargo jacket that I got from H&M. Like, two well actually three years ago so yeah i am headed over to great clips right now and i am going to have them uh trim a lot of the split ends off i'm not how sure i'm not how sure excuse me i'm not sure just how short i'm gonna go just yet because um i just i don't know i don't know yet but I know I do want um, a lot of it taken off. So I don't, a lot, I guess everyone have, probably would have like, well, what's your definition of a lot? A lot is an inch to two inches. Last time around, um, the last time I got my hair cut or trimmed, actually, I'm not even gonna say it was a trim. They cut like an inch and a half off. That's a lot. My hair is shorter than that now. So I don't know how much they're going to cut off or what it's gonna look like. But uh, I love the girls at Great Clips. They always take care of me. They always, um, they just take care of me. So I love when them. I love when they trim my and cut my hair. So I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I am gonna see what it looks like. I don't know if they'll let me film in there. I'm actually having really good filming quality so far. So we'll see, I just checked in um, through my mobile app. Right now my hair is pinned up, I don't know if I, got, if I told you that, but right now my hair is pinned up. And the reason for me flat ironing my hair, because I don't know how many of you flat iron your hair, but if I was going to someone that specialized in natural hair, um, then I would have been comfortable letting them cut my hair in its natural state. But since I am, you know, and dealing with you know people who aren't necessarily uh, as familiar with natural hair or even with uh, not as familiar with the texture of my hair uh, I feel like in order to stay on the safe side and to get an accurate trimming 
I should definitely straighten my hair. So I feel more comfortable when I go to these places uh, to get my hair trimmed. I have no problem with the way that they trim it. They do amazing uh, cuts. They layer, like, they layer out of this freaking world. I'm getting excited just thinking about how my layers are gonna be popping again. So um, they're gonna layer my hair and then, uh, well, they'll, they'll probably like, you know, just touch everything up because my hair is already in layers. I'm gonna touch everything up. So they're gonna do all that. And then we'll just see where we go from there. Um, I'm definitely going to do a hair vlog afterwards. Um, so we'll see. I, I'm very excited though. I'm, I'm excited to get this. It's like weight. I'm, def I'm excited to get this weight off my head. All right, guys, so I just came back from getting my hair trimmed at suit, or Great Clips. Unfortunately, I could not film in there. Um, it was against the store policy. And I did get ten, two inches and a half trimmed off. We were gonna stop at one. Hold on, I'm getting in the car. Okay, oh, my hair looks crazy. Um, we did trim off two inches and a half. I was gonna stop at one inch, but um, I just was like, go ahead and cut off another inch. It looks so much better. I still have a long ways to go. I'm hoping to have this situation remedied by um, at least within the next six months. But I did cut off quite a bit. Two inches and a half for me is a lot. Um, it's not even shoulder length anymore. Well, it, it just grazes the shoulders, which is fine because I really don't wear my hair out anyways. I typically wear my hair, um, I've been wearing a lot of twist outs lately and I typically wear my hair pinned and tucked. So tucked and pinned, whatever. So that is what I've been doing recently, and this is what my hair looks like. She put a lot of texture in it, so if I do wear it straight. Hi guys, okay, so I'm back. Um, I am in a very natural state right now. Um, I didn't expect to be filming like this, but whatever, this is me, this is who I am. So, um, yes, my hair is finally chopped, um, and my video camera cut off um, through mid sitting through mid-sentence. My video camera cut off through mid-sentence, so I'm gonna try to explain to you all that I can within a short amount of time about my um, trimming or cutting haircut experience. So, um, picking up where I left off, uh, my hair right now is actually very uh, dry because I've been cooking and the rain got to it and yeah so the humidity mixed with everything else so my hair is just really kind of crazy right now it is not straight whatsoever so yeah um my hair is so thick that it doesn't last any any amount of humidity any type of steam i'm done it's, it's just done it's just it's just way too thick so yeah so after going into the hair salon, I asked if I could film and they had to check with a few managers. They were just like checking it out because they weren't sure and then eventually they looked through their books and um, I think it was like a store book policy and um, filming was not allowed. I did let this young girl um, cut my hair and she was just in awe of how thick it was. <laughs> she just kept saying, you have a lot of hair, it's so much, it's just a lot. It's like, yeah, yeah, it, it's a lot of hair, but I wish it would be longer, but yeah, I have a lot, a very dense, full head of hair. It's just crazy. Flat ironing, this is an experience in itself. So yeah, Um, sorry guys, I'm just kinda like, I'm, I'm really happy because um, I ended up cutting off two inches and a half. Um, I went in there very melancholy. I was very upset, um, frustrated, just like, I really felt like, I not that I didn't want to continue with my hair journey, but I don't know if you hair girls out there, if you just get, you know, you really 
feel like I'm just done. Like, I don't know what else to do. Like, not that you want to relax your hair, but you just kind of feel like, I just, I don't know what else I can do. I don't know if my hair is ever going to be the length that I want it to be or as healthy as I want it to be. And so I really just kind of went in there and I was down. I really was. Um, and as she was cutting, you know, I was telling her what my expectations of my hair length was and, you know, the problems that I have been having with it, the problems that led up to it. Um, and she, she understood. Uh, she was very uh, patient with me. Uh, she asked me how much I wanted to have cut off. Uh, every time she went to a different section of my hair, she asked me, is it okay to cut this much? Um, I'm just doing this. She explained to me what she was doing. So like she added a lot of texture in my hair. Um, so like, I don't know if, you got, if you're familiar with when um, hairstylists cut your hair and they just, when they're trimming it, they kind of like, they chop it. So it looks like they're just like, I don't know, it looks like they're picking at it, but she, what she explained to me was she wasn't necessarily uh, cutting it or trimming it, she was adding texture. Therefore, when I do decide to have it flat ironed, that I would have more body and shape to my hair. So that made me excited because they really do take out the time to explain to you uh, the process when they are trimming or cutting your hair. And then they also um, are very attentive and I like that they definitely keep your hairstyle in mind. Like I know there's some people that I've seen some haircuts or I would just be like, that's not a style. And so I'm very happy that they're trained to the point where they know what is going to look good, what is not. So let me shape your hair in this type of way. So that made me happy. Um, and I can just see it now, even with it being like in the state that it is right now, it, they really did, I can see that this would have a lot of body it well it's already full but a lot of body so yeah with the layers she she definitely touched up the layers she said that the layers didn't look as bad as the other hair and she said in six to eight months we can definitely get um not six to eight months she said come in at least four to six weeks and eventually we can just get all of it off and we can get it back healthy so I'm definitely gonna do that I am making a commitment I'm gonna put my appointments in my phone four to six weeks I am going to get my hair cut because I want this all chopped off and what I am very um, surprised about is just how uh, willing I was to let her cut off another inch uh, once I once the hair was taken once she cut the hair I was like it's really not that bad and I started to see the difference in how my hair looked um, from when I had all the dead ends on and I was just like Taking another inch off isn't going to be that bad. And at the end of the day, health is more important than length. And I need to uh, really, I really need to embed that in my head that health is definitely more important than length. And at the end of the day, if you really think about it, once your hair is cut or trimmed correctly, it looks way better than a hair that has dead ends but it has length so now my hair looks fuller uh, don't get me wrong I have a long way to go but I feel more comfortable with my hair being this length and actually shaped up and trimmed and cut than I did before so I'm just really happy with the result um, I think that this is definitely going to help I should get a, a grow burst spurt or I, I should definitely get a spurt of growth and I should definitely see that within uh, the next four to six weeks um, which will kind of counteract the trim so as I am getting it trimmed off it won't really matter because I've just gotten I've just had a spurt of new growth so I'm happy I definitely can say that I'm happy I, I'm happy I did it um, because 
last time I was just like oh no cut this much off cut this much off and when I look at my hair looking back I was like I could have went two more inches off and I would I would be closer to my goal um, so yeah just uh, ladies the, a lesson to be learned is don't be scared of the scissors you can do it gradually but just don't get so caught up in the length like I was because I, my hair was just looking ridiculous and now it looks a lot better uh, the next time I go I'm gonna get another two inches and a half cut off and I'm gonna keep getting two inches and a half cut off until my hair is um, healthy again and all the split ends are off and that is my plan so right now my hair um, if I were to flat iron this, I could just tell right now because it kind of grazes my shoulders um, just being in this state, in this natural state. So if I were to cut this, my hair would, or if I were to flat iron this, my hair would probably be right here. So I'm still, I still have length. Yeah, I still have length. And um, more than anything, I'm just excited that my hair is just back to not back to but closer to my hair goal uh, of health and you know length so yeah if it wasn't for me having full hair like a full head of hair I'd probably be distraught but um, just knowing that my hair is this full makes me happy I'm actually going to I won't be flat ironing my hair very much at all for the next four to six months maybe uh, not four to six months, but the next four to six weeks, I'll probably flat iron it. Flat, or I will probably flat iron my hair only. I am really going to experiment with twist outs, afros, all kinds of stuff because I want to really tap into the creative experience of natural hair. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm really going to try to perfect um, my hair being kinky and curly big and just all of this all of this all of this I'm really going to try and um, just become one with my kinkiness <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next four to six weeks I'm definitely gonna keep you ladies updated and if you guys have anything that you want to share with me please let me know I am very open to hearing what anyone has to say I love um, trying out new products, trying new styles, um, even different techniques to keep my hair healthy, washing, any of that. Anything you want to share with me, let me know. I am open ears. I will, I will pretty much experiment with anything that I think is going to help um, with my hair goals. So that is all I have for this hair vlog. I hope you all enjoyed um, it. I know it was a long one. <laughs> Started off really rough, but now I am in better spirits. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And um, definitely follow me on Instagram, Facebook, She is Obsessed, my blog, and Twitter. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye-bye.